name is Teacher Brittany, and today we are going to be doing a lesson from the WinStars curriculum. If you aren't familiar with WinStars, it's a pre-band curriculum designed for after the recorder, or maybe in place of, and before beginning band. There are two student books available, one in iconic notation and one in standard notation. So if you already know how to read music, you can play along with us, but if not, we're going to teach you an easy way today. If you have a WinStars book, go grab it. You will need it. If not, you can follow along on the screen. Today's lesson is for the dude and toot instruments. The dude has a single reed and the toot has a flute lip plate. If you don't have a dude or toot, you could also use a recorder. Are you ready to get started? Okay, let's go. Before we get into playing the dude and toot, we're going to talk a little bit about air. You are going to need air to play the dude and toot instruments. So first, I want you to take your hand and put it on your belly. And when you take a nice deep breath in, you should feel your hand move up a little bit. Let's try it. Breathe in. And out. Try again. In. Out. If you don't feel your hand moving, make sure your shoulders aren't going up and down like this. That's not how we want to breathe. So musicians, we want it to be in the belly. So try one more deep breath with me. Good. If you have a pinwheel like this at home, this is a really easy way to see your air in motion. So I'm going to take a nice deep breath in my belly and watch what happens when I blow out. If you don't have one, you can pretend. You can make your finger. Make sure you can feel your air in your finger. Deep breath in. If you want to try a fun air breathing game, get a piece of paper. Maybe not too big. I made a really small one. And the goal is to keep the paper on the wall with just your air, no hands. So when you put it on the wall, you're going to take a nice deep breath and then let it go and see if it stays. Let me show you. Okay, so I have my piece of paper. I'm going to put it against the wall with my fingers to start. And then when you use your air, move your hand away and see if you can keep it there with just your air. You can also make it a competition. See who in your family can keep it there the longest. Before we learn how to play any songs, we're going to learn how to hold the instrument to make our first sound. If you're playing the toot instrument, you'll take your left hand and wrap it carefully around the top of the instrument, under the lip plate, but not pressing any keys. Your right hand will wrap around the bottom, not covering the bottom opening and not pressing keys. And the instrument will go out to your right side. So if you have a toot, let me see what you look like. Good. If you're playing the dude, similar idea, your left hand will go on the top. Make sure you don't press that lever or any keys. And the right hand wraps around the bottom and it will go comfortably out in front of you. So if you have a dude, let me see. Very good. Recorders are very similar to dudes, so if you're playing a recorder plus, it will look a lot like this. To make our first sound, the toot instrument, if you have that first note lip plate on, is very simple. You're going to carefully wrap your lips around the opening and just blow a gentle stream of air. If you have a toot, try one with me. Take a breath. To make a sound on the dude, first make sure that the reed is in place and that the reed is facing you. Then rest your top teeth just about halfway down the mouthpiece. Your bottom lip will wrap over your bottom teeth and make a cushion for the reed. Then the corners of your mouth carefully close, but you don't have to press too hard. Just make sure no air escapes. Then take a nice deep breath and exhale it through the instrument. Good. I want you to try that with me right now. Take a nice deep breath. You'll notice if you're closing your mouth too hard, you won't get a sound. So don't try too hard. Just make sure your lips are relaxed and you take a nice deep breath. 
I want you to practice that a few times until you can get a sound comfortably. If you're using the toot with the standard flute lip plate, I want you to first say poo. I know, it sounds very silly, but try it one more time. Poo. Good. Now you're going to try the word without saying it, just the air, like this. Try it one more time. Good. Now you're going to bring the toot with the standard flute lip plate up to your mouth. And you want that curve to be in the curve of your chin, like this. And using that, you're going to send the air right into the toot, like this. Good. I want you to try that a few times until you can get a sound. You can also experiment moving the toot in and out, maybe a little left and right, until you find that perfect spot. Don't get frustrated if you don't get a sound right away. This takes some practice. And you can always go back to the first note lip plate if you need it. Now that you can get a sound on the dude and the toot, we're going to practice some rhythms. We aren't playing any notes yet, so make sure you're still in that first sound position. Copy after me. It can be on the toot or dude. Either way. So I'm going to start a drum track right here. And I want you to copy after me. Now we're going to learn our first note B. So if you have a toot, that key on the back is for your left hand thumb. So put your thumb there and your first finger is going to go on the first key. On your right hand, your pinky goes at the very bottom and you'll feel a really nice groove for your thumb. So this is what B looks like. So I'm going to play it with my first note lip plate. Can you try a B with me? Ready, deep breath. Good. If you're using the dude, the opening in the back is for your left hand thumb and your first finger is going to go right on the top. With the dude, you don't need a pinky, just your thumb under this adjustable thumb rest. So you're going to carefully put it under, okay? And this is what a B sounds like. We're going to talk about articulation, which is a really big fancy word for basically saying how your tongue is going to start the note. So if you're playing the dude, we already know how to play our B, so let me hear your B. Good. So rather than just saying who, we're going to use our tongue and say to. Can you say two, 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 two? Good. Do you feel how your tongue is hitting with the two? Two. Good. Try again. Notice your tongue. Two, 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 two. Good. So when we play our B, we're actually going to start each note with our tongue, just like we're saying two. It sounds like this. Can you try that for me? Let's get ready to play B, thumb and first finger, and we're going to use our tongue to start it. Good, let's try another pattern. I'll go first, you copy me. Yeah, you have to use a lot of tongue in that one. 
Try one more. Good job. Make sure no matter what you're playing, you use the tongue to start every note. Articulation is similar with the toot. When you're using the first note lip plate, say two, and your tongue will lightly hit on the lip plate, like this. Can you try that pattern? Me first. Good. And if I'm using the standard lip plate, it's very similar, except that my tongue doesn't hit the lip plate, it hits inside my mouth, right where the roof of your mouth and your teeth meet. Right back there. Don't touch it. I know, we gotta keep our hands clean, don't put them in your mouth. But feel it with your tongue. You feel that in there where your teeth meet the top of your mouth? That's where your tongue should hit. So it'll sound like this. You wanna try? I'll go first, you copy me. Me first. Good, so make sure every note you start with your tongue. So now we're gonna do some patterns with B and make sure you use your tongue every time. Now we're gonna practice some patterns on B. So remember, if you're using the dude, thumb and first finger, and if you're using the toot, thumb, first finger, and pinky. So just B the whole time. We're gonna use our rock beat track. And repeat after me. Okay, my turn first. rock beat track like that on the Windstars website if you want to practice some more. You can also try a call and response with a family member. So maybe you play a pattern and then they have to copy it back. It's a really good way to see if they're listening. So now we've done some practice with note B, we're going to learn a song. This first song is called The Empire Strikes Bach. Yes. And we are going to first clap the pattern together. So if you know how to read music, you'll see it on the screen, but if you don't, you're going to see some colored blocks with the letter B in it, and they're going to show you how long and how short each note is. So if you see just one block like this, it's one clap. If you see an arrow with two, we're going to make it a long note like this. Ba. Can you try that with me? Ready, go. Ba. Yes. And if you see an arrow connecting four boxes, what do you think that means? Yes, a really long note. So like this, ba. You try that with me, ready? Ba. Good. And then you'll also see some boxes with this character. This is Windy, and Windy is gonna help us know when to be silent. So if Windy has a number one, that means be quiet for one beat. If Wendy has a two, that means be quiet for two counts, okay? So let's clap the Empire Strikes Bach together. We're gonna use ba, like we're sheep. All right, one, two, say it together. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. Ba, 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 
Good job. If you need to go back, practice again. That's okay. Okay, we're going to play the Empire Strikes Bach with a backing track. So you're going to hear little clicks at the beginning. Then they'll tell you when to start. So you'll hear click, 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 start. Okay, and you'll see the music at the bottom of the screen. So let's try it. opening, your first finger down and your second finger down, and that right hand thumb is still under the thumb rest. So make sure you take a nice deep breath. I'm going to go first. Listen. Great. I'll try again and then you. Great job. And don't be afraid. Keep experimenting with more or less in your mouth if you're still not getting a good sound every time. So we're going to do some patterns. I'll go first and then you copy me. So keep practicing on your own. Make up your own patterns, challenge a friend to copy after you, and just keep practicing. Okay, so before we play a very short gavotte, first we're gonna clap it with our bas again. So let's try it together. So one, two, here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. How'd you do? Did you get all the long notes? Good. So once you can do that, let's play it together. So we have learned notes B and A already, and the last note we're going to learn today is note G. So just like with the other notes, you start with thumb and first finger, A was 2, and G is now 3. And you still have your thumb on in the back, and the right hand pinky with the toot. So I'll play it on a toot first, you repeat after me. So I want you to think, is G higher or lower than A? Here's G, here's A. What do you think? If you said G is lower, you're correct. So B is the highest, A is in the middle, and G is the lowest. So I played B, A, G. To play a G on the dude, your thumb is gonna go on the back opening again. First finger, second finger, and third finger down, and your right hand thumb is right under the thumb rest. So make sure you take a big breath of air before you try to play G. So listen first. So why don't you try one after me? Me first. Great. Let's add some patterns. So remember to use two to start every note. Use that tongue. How'd 
How did you do? I bet you did great. And you'll keep practicing. It's okay if it's not perfect the first time. All right, our next tune is called Jungle G and it only uses the note G. So we're going to clap the rhythm, but we're going to sing it at the same time. So instead of our ba, ba, we're going to sing the note. Let me get a G here. G, 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 just like that. So let's read it together and you'll notice it starts with some rests. So one, two, start with rests. lines with those two dots at the end? Does anyone know what that means? That means go back and do it again. So you're going to go find the other repeat sign and we're going to do just that part again. So we're going to sing on the G's. Ready, go. G, 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 G. Not hard, is it? That was great. So now let's play it. We're going to add the backing track. I'm going to do it the first time on the two and again on the dude. Great, only two tunes left in this lesson. So the next one is Streetwise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start just with moving our fingers and singing it first using notes G and A, and then we'll add the background music. So here's G, A, G. So we're gonna sing it and move our fingers. So start with rest, one, two, don't play yet. Now sing with me. G, 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 A, 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 G, 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 A, A, G. Do it again. G, 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 A. Did you notice how there's a quick rest in there this time? Wendy has a one. So it sounds pretty quick like this. So make sure we can hear that space in between. Okay, let's do Streetwise. I'll play it twice, first on the toot and then on the dude.
The last tune we're going to do is Baggy Pants 1, which has notes B, A, and G. So I'm going to challenge you this tune. I'm going to show you the music, and I want to see if you can sing and move your fingers at the same time. So we're not going to clap the rhythm. We're going to see if you can figure it out this time. So what note do we start on? On G. So let's sing it together. G, one, two, sing and move. G, A, B, B, A, G, B, A, B, A, A, G. Do it again. G, A, B, B, A, G, B, A, B, A, A, G. I'm going to show you an example. So for Baggy Pants, which we just finished playing, I wrote some words. Tell me what you think. Wash your hands, do it well, swish and swirl and rinse off. I guess I'm going to have to rename it Wash Your Hands, but you get the idea. You can make it about anything. So I challenge you to pick your favorite song that we learned today and make some lyrics to go along with it. They might even be funny ones. Here's another activity to challenge yourself. Can you recreate any of the tunes we've learned today writing them down? So one example is if you don't know how to write music notation yet, you can just write down letter names like this. So the beginning of Baggy Pants 1, G, A, B, and I knew B was a longer note, B, A, G. So I'm trying to show the high and low as well. That's one example. You can also use some notation cards on the WinStars website. There's a link in the video description and you can print those out for free and move them around and recreate the songs. You can also use them to make your own music. And I would love to see what you come up with, so feel free to share them with us. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed having you here. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Good. Let me hear it again. Taco, are you coming to help us today? This is my pal Taco. <laughs> now we're going to try with the toot like this. Good. You're wanting to send your air into the toot. Are you helping me, buddy? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think Taco likes that sound too much. I'm going to start with your hand against the wall and then use just your air to hold it into place. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> I taco. <laughs> We've only got two songs less, oh.